So first, make sure that you've drawn the orbital notation, not a Bohr diagram, but orbital notation. So fix that first if you haven't. And then let's examine this. So you should have gotten that ionization energy should increase across the period. That's what we would expect as you add more protons. However, I'm telling you that a dip happens at oxygen's group. It happens with the whole group, actually, from going from group 15 to 16. Um, we would expect oxygen to be harder to remove an electron from, but it's actually easier. So let's take a look at where we are removing the electron. So notice both of them have the second shell as their valence shell, and we would be removing from the 2p. So if I'm looking at nitrogen, I have all unpaired electrons. So I'd be removing an unpaired electron. But if I look at oxygen, I have a pairing of electrons here. And if I put two electrons in the same orbital, what would those electrons do with each other? Well, they would repel each other. And would that make it easier or harder to remove the electron? Well, it would make it easier because the repulsion would be canceling out some of the attraction to the nucleus. The repulsion would make it easier to remove because they're pushing each other apart. Just like if you are trying to pull apart two magnets that are of opposite polarity, it's pretty easy to pull them apart because they're already pushing each other apart. So it's easier to remove oxygen's 2p because they are paired. So you're going to notice that whenever this first pairing takes place, which happens in for the, two, for the p electrons, it happens at group um, 16, which is oxygen's group, uh, but it happens to everything in that group. It happens at oxygen. In the next row, it happens at sulfur, so on and so forth. It's easier. You have a drop in ionization energy. It's easier to remove a paired electron than it is an unpaired electron. Um, so your reason for this dip at group 16 is paired versus unpaired electrons. Paired electrons are easier to remove due to the repulsion, easier to remove than an unpaired electron, which each of these electrons have their own orbital, so they do not repel each other as much as paired electrons.